Hello and welcome to Let's Play Double Dragon on the Game Boy 1988 Technos Japan Corp. Here's the title screen. Um, choose mode A, one player, because mode B needs a link cable and two copies of the game, etc. Here's the intro sequence where Marion gets kidnapped and for some reason she has no face. Um, interestingly, um, the Lindas don't have a face, so all the women don't have a face. I don't know why. Uh, just punch, punch, uh, and then do two kicks uh, to take out enemies really quickly. I call it the punch, punch, kick, kick combo. Um, it weakens the enemy, and then the kicks um, will take him out. If you do the kicks on its own, like that, it, it, it isn't enough. Um, so the punches weaken them first. For some reason the enemies like to go down there, I don't know why, she, so you have to follow them down. You can pick up the barrel if you want. Um, once the um, once the, once the enemies drop a, a weapon, they won't ever pick it up again. Okay, here's a Bobo. Don't kick him, otherwise this might happen. No, not that. If you try to do a roundhouse on him, yeah, he'll either duck or he'll pick you up uh, most of the time. You can do it on him, but it's, it's, it isn't worth it because he takes a lot of health off. So just concentrate on punching him. That's what I like to do. Yeah, if you jump afterwards, you float in, in yeah, you float in midair. I'll demonstrate that much better on the next boss. That was close. That's your worst enemy really in this game, being knocked off the ledge. Because um, they're unpredictable like that. Now, this one needs more more than two hits for some reason. Yeah, most Lindas only need two kicks to die, well, a roundhouse to die. I don't know why. Maybe because they're women. Um, that one needs more than two kicks. Again, I don't know why. Uh, maybe she's a tranny. Um, yeah, annoying platforming there. It, it's, it looks harder than what it is. It's more or less easy. Okay, here's the first whip, I think. Yeah, here's the whip. No, nope, managed to get me. Okay, the first enemy at the bottom of this lift um, has a bomb. You can't get it off him, it's impossible because you can't move up and down and avoid him. You have to jump into him and you'll th and the bomb will go through you. And um, that's all automatic, by the way. There we go. Yeah, that was the three kick combo. That's that takes more damage and well, that takes more health off than the uh, than the, the, the two kick combo. Uh, it, it's just, it, it, it's useful for the chin ties. Yeah, you can fall through the um, the floor here sometimes. You can glitch yourself through the floor. It's really annoying here. Um, it can happen. Um, if it does happen, it's instant death. So just try to jump there to avoid that happening. Yeah, these ones need more than. They need more than the uh, two kick combo here. Okay, the first chin tie is coming up. No, it didn't work because I didn't roundhouse him. Sometimes you don't roundhouse him for some reason. Okay, so do the three kick combo. That's it. Yeah, um, he can duck. 
for some reason I turned around spontaneously there. There we go. You see, if you jump after killing him, you float in midair. Okay, try to conserve your health here. It's uh, uh, it's needed because um, there's some tricky points in this level. Um, you get a new life at 20,000 points. Um, you can get infinite points um, because there's no time limit. You can just keep punching the enemies over and over again without killing them like that. Then another one, then another one. You just keep doing that for eternity. Uh, so I don't know if you can get another life or not. I can't remember. Um, all I know is another life at 20,000 points. Try not to be knocked off into the water, it's your worst enemy, really. Don't try to knock these enemies in the water, it isn't worth it, they're too easy, and I don't think you can knock them off the screen very far, so it's not really worth trying to do that. And there isn't an abobo here either. No, I don't need that. There's the other life. A load of Lindas will show up here. Oh. If you don't do the roundhouse, it won't kill them. You have to do the roundhouse. Because that takes more health off than a normal kick. I don't know why a normal kick sometimes knocks them down like that. It, it's a glitch, I think. You should do the roundhouse when they're bent over. See, so yeah, did it again. Right, the Abobo that's coming up, don't try to take him head on. Yeah, I don't know why, they only need two kicks as well, uh, those enemies. Um, yeah, don't try to take him head on, it's too tricky, what with the platforming and everything, and you need the health for later. Um, so just, the best way to get rid of him is just have, have him wait there. There we go. He can hurt you as you're moving into him, to get close to him, so just keep punching as you press up, and you shouldn't do it, and then just knock him off. It's the best thing to do, trust me, because he can take a lot of health off, and you need it for these men, really. And there's another Abobo afterwards. Don't go too far forward here, because otherwise another Chintai will show up. There we are. Ugh. Get the knife off him quickly, because that can take a load of health off. I'll use the knife quickly. hate that. I don't know what the platform up there is for. Okay, a man with a boulder shows up here. If you let him throw the boulder, he becomes immune to the boulder. If you if you take the boulder off him before he manages to throw it, um, he is not immune. So I let him throw it. There we go. And now he's immune to it. You see? I don't know why. Completely immune to boulders now. Okay, here comes a Bobo. Again, just use punches. Don't kick him. Um, it's easy for him to take all your health off here. There we go. Managed to glitch him off there. Okay, uh, the stalactites here, um, they're more predictable than the NES version, so just, you know, just make yourself, you know, um, what you have to do is just uh, let them fall and go backwards. That's it, that should be the last one. Sometimes another one will appear, which is awkward, but if, if it doesn't, just go down here and then just hide in the corner. If it does appear, um, you'll, you might get hit by the boulder, it'll have a head start on you. Oh, I hate that. 
Okay, here it's slightly glitched. Jump on the platform. You have to press right and the screen will move before you move. And if you try to jump as the screen's moving, you, you um, it'll take the momentum out of your jump and you won't make the jump. So you have to make the screen move before you jump. So like that. Okay, the Abobo that's coming, he can be tricky. Get to the right of him. Um, otherwise it will not he might knock you into the lava. So just get to the right of him as soon as possible. That's it. That's it. And then, and then just try to take him out. That's it. Get him. There we go. Eat that. Uh, he can be tricky. Make sure you go into the door before the the floor goes. Otherwise, um, you know, otherwise it will still, otherwise you'll fall in. But he can be tricky that a bobo because there's no way to avoid him. There's no way to go up and down. Again, platforming is your worst enemy here, especially the way the enemies, the weak enemies, can knock you in. Just keep away from the ledges when there's enemies about, if you, if you can help it. Because there's no way to avoid the enemies, because there's no way to go up and down the, uh, the plane, if you know what I mean. I'm speaking geometrically, of course. Um, that's it. Let them go up to you, that's it. Yeah, there's no way to move up and down the plane, you know, th three-dimensionally. Um, so, you know, uh, uh, the enemies can they can get you by surprise. No, oh, you have to keep going. That's it. That's all the difficult platforming done for this level now, thank God. Okay, two Lothars will appear here. Okay, some Lindas up here with a whip, I think. Don't bother trying to knock them off, it's not worth it, they're too easy. Okay, a load of uh, chin ties will show up here, I think. Yeah. Oh no, some Lindas first. Why don't you have a face? Yeah. Uh, you want to be careful with when there's more than one chin tie. They can really muck you up. Just try to split them up if you can. Just by taking one of them out really quickly. You know, knocking one down really quickly. Still not dead. I should do it. No. Okay, the final level. Uh, get the knife off him ASAP. That can do a lot of damage, and you need the health. Trust me. Um, keep hold. Um, keep hold of the knife. It comes in handy. Right, this annoying bit. Um, when the vacuum doors are open, just uh, just keep moving. Concentrate on moving. Quick. Wait for it to close. That's it. Try to elbow them. That will. Uh, there we are. Oh shit. Oh, that was lucky. That's it. That's what you want. That's it, good. Okay, some Lothars show up here. Try to elbow them.
there we are. Okay, I've lost too much health there, I think. I should be okay, though. Okay, when a Bobo shows up, just wait for him to go here. That's it. And just do that. Thankfully, he's the last Abobo in the game, I think. There we are. Okay, this bit. Just keep going. Ah, oh. and again. That was really annoying. I've lost loads of health now. One of them has a bomb. Yeah, there it is. Good. That's what you want. That's it. Good. Okay, load of Chintai show up. Three, I think, but only two at a time. Just keep them separated. what you want, just keep them separated. And then they're easier to manage. They're only really dangerous when they're, you know, when they're grouped together. If you notice I'm, I'm punching, that's because um, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the uppercut knockdown is more reliable for knocking them down. Uh, they don't tend to duck them. It's, it's the, the spin kick that they can avoid. And again with Willy. keep going up and down the plane. He's not as hard as Willy on the other versions. Just don't let him shoot you, otherwise that takes a load of health off. And whatever you do, do not try to kick him, otherwise he, he can uh, whack you with, with his gun um, in the middle of a spin kick. There we go. And that's that. So it didn't matter. I lost that health. Uh, to win the game, you have to go and uh, you have to go and touch Marion, or go in the door. You have saved Marion's life with your own hands. And that's that. Marion, that was John Wayne's real name, except it was Marion with an O. Marion Morrison was his real name. Um, Marion with an A is the female version, I believe. Now, they made a joke of that in The Simpsons with um, Fat Tony. Originally he was called um, William Fat Tony Williams, which I thought was the most amusing one. And then they changed it to, and then they said his real name was Marion in another episode, which is, uh, you know, like John Wayne. And then, and then they changed his name to be um, Fat Tony D'Amico or something like. But I always thought the William Fat Tony Williams one was funnier. Yeah, they really have ruined The Simpsons. Yeah, by far the hardest bit of the um, last level is that vacuum door bit. I got really unlucky with those blocks that come out. Sometimes I get luckier. I thought I was going to make it, and then and then two of them got me. Um, but um, if you just keep your if you keep your cool with the chin ties, keep them separated. Don't try to kick them because they uh, they can duck the spin kick. So just try to knock them down with punches, and then uh, you can manage Willy easily. Just get him on the edge, and then just keep punching him. Don't try to kick him, otherwise he'll knock you down again. And of course, there's uh, uh, there's no last boss from the NES version. It's just Willy, like on the Master System version. The last boss being your brother in the NES version. I always think his gun on the Master System version looks like a microscope. And that's the end. I'm fast forwarding.
no, it never ends. So yeah, um, thanks for watching uh, Let's Play Double Dragon on the Game Boy. My next video hopefully will be Double Dragon 2 on the Game Boy, which is quite an experience. So I'll see you then, thanks for watching, and bye bye.